hello, I'm Kenmi and in this video I will show you how to get from this to this. Enjoy! In order to make good backgrounds you need to understand what a real perspective is. At this photo you can see closest buildings very clearly and their colors are vibrant but as they get further and further away they start to get blurry and the colors are becoming less saturated. This effect is called aerial perspective, which happens because of air masses between objects. Step 1. Sketch. Okay, but why am I telling you all of this? Well, you will need to recreate that phenomenon while making your background. For shaping our background, I used only 4 basic shades of grey, and I started from black, and for each layer which is further away from camera, I used lighter color. You can see that my sketch is very simple and I actually did it on purpose to avoid grabbing too much attention of the viewer from what he should be focusing on. Step 2. Color Starting from darker color and following it with the lighter one will create a feeling of depth in your background. Be careful though, because as you can see if I'll place two highly contrasting colors next to each other, they will draw a lot of attention, so Instead, use two similar colors to make your background less overwhelming to the viewer. Colors play a big role when it comes to backgrounds and actually to any kind of art, but as you remember from the beginning of the video, we have to adapt our colors to create a real perspective. For this background, I used my own color palette, but don't worry, you can use predefined one. There is plenty of amazing color palettes on low spec and the link will be in the description below the video. So, I've started with dark blue and followed with gradually making my colors lighter to get that feel of depth which I talked about a second ago. It's a cave background so I've chosen bluish colors instead of green which would match more likely for some forest or plains instead. And pay attention to the form of that background. You can notice that there are only two types of shapes. Circles and triangles. Triangles mean danger, that's why I put stalagmites and stalactites on the top and the bottom of my sprite. They show the viewer slash player which area he should be avoiding. Circles, on the other hand, bring feeling of safety and are perfect choice for the play area. I added some bright colors to make the viewer focus more on the center of the screen, where the most part of gameplay takes place. At the end I made some polishing touches and voila, we have our background ready. Alright, let's make a quick recap. Make sketch and use simple colors to add as many layers as you need. Create a feel of depth and incorporate aerial perspective. Play around with shapes to show off dangerous and safe parts of your background. Add color, remembering that dark parts will seem closer to the viewer and contrast matters and highly contrasting colors will draw attention. Make polishing touches and add some details to your background. I've made two more backgrounds following the steps I covered in the video. For me, the process I showed you is the simplest one and easiest to use for me. But of course, you can create your backgrounds following any process you want. You know how to make a background, so now go and see how to create a pixel art tree. And if you enjoyed the video, Leave a like, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think about it. See you soon. Can me out.